hey guys this is one of the important property activity properties we need to learn cursor motion type and alter if disabled cursor motion type and alter if disabled so where do you find the documentation and what kind of questions would come and what is the usage of this two property that is more important to understand okay so let's get started okay first of all let's have a look drag and drop a click activity and on the property you look there is something called cursor motion type okay that means you can with the name itself you know how the your cursor should move and there are two different option given one is instant instant means it will jump let's say i want to click on a ui element right for example uh, on my screen uh, what is that let's say i want to click on this ui element so it will the mouse will directly jump and in the smooth what would happen you will see the mouse will move something slowly like this that is the difference okay smooth means it will slowly move like this and jump uh, instant means wherever the mouse let's say you have kept it on the left corner when you are using that instant it will directly jump and hit here so it will directly jump so that is the default behavior only if you need it to move slowly you can do it so what is the need of it okay that is one thing let's understand and then the other property that we are also going to discuss is alter if disabled okay these are the two properties very important properties we must learn so what is that let's see so let's understand the question so that we'll get a um, you know why we have to learn we will understand so the question is a developer is building a process that needs to click an element which requires mouse hover to become visible that means uh, i can't give you a proper example i can't show you a web page but just try to imagine let's say this button is invisible the moment i am trying to uh bring uh, you know the moment you try to bring the button will appear okay you can imagine that uh, bit of things require a bit of imagination i could not find a real website to show you that but generally what happens the moment you take your mouse the button will appear the moment you take take out your mouse the button will disappear getting it so that icon only appears when you take your mouse in that case right so that is the situation here however the element does not appear with the default click settings so default click setting if you go it doesn't appear the input method for click activity hardware events which property should the developer configure to be able to click the element so what is the keyword here mouse hover is the keyword so only when you hover the mouse it will it will show right so in that case what is the right answer so the right answer is cursor motion type smooth we have to keep so what are the, what are the differences we need to understand first of all okay so let's understand the cursor motion time then we'll move on to the second one uh, cursor motion type so read the definition and in this click activity property on this particular link you need to i have already given it in the uh, previous topic i think uh, yeah so the click activity and the other thing also you need to look at is ui automation i will show you both of it okay and all the links are available in the description please do check uh okay so these are the two things that you must read uh, so here cursor motion type what are the definition specifies the type of motion performed by the mouse cursor so this is my mouse cursor so how it should perform if you are choosing instant the cursor jumps to the destination let's say i want to click here or i want to click on any button here tuck it will directly jump onto it smooth means the cursor moves the increment Uh, moves in increment has no effect so it will move slowly like this you will see just try that try that on any of the element you will see the difference uh, and here it is telling send windows message or simulate click are enabled so has no effect has no effect if you are using send windows message it will only work if you are not using send windows message this is important point smooth function will not work if any alternative question comes so this could be a question i can think of has no effect if send windows message or simulate clicks are enabled okay so if this is enabled the smooth will not work uh, by by default instant is selected what is the default one so this are this this entire thing is important okay this you must remember and practice more importantly okay so this one we have understood so here our answer is cursor motion type should be smooth so that it it will slowly go and so that when you it when it slowly goes that means you are hovering the mouse rather than instantly going it will happen in milliseconds it slowly goes 
so it hovers over that and the element will appear so the answer is cursor motion type is equal to smooth okay this is the answer now the other thing also we need to understand uh, alter if disabled what is the meaning of alter if disabled okay so let's scroll down see that much amount of preparation you have to do alter if disabled if enabled the action is executed even if the specified ui element is disabled just imagine um, where can i show you an ui element okay let's let's say this is one um, the previous page is an ui element or the next page is an ui element okay so let's say uh, the this button is disabled this button is already i mean it's grayed out you can't if you click on it doesn't do anything so in such a case if you would like to do it you can use alter if disabled um, alter if it is disabled you need to alter it okay that means it should work if you make it true let me show you alter if disabled if i enable i don't know if you can see it uh, let me keep the property panel this side okay so here alt if disabled if it is if it is uh, uh, true right if it is kept true that means even the button is disabled is going to work and this is only function when you use simulate click remember this point and where did i show you this point in the ui automation document uh, where uh, i have clearly told you uh, where or not interact with the disabled element please note that this property is only taken into consideration if the simulate type or the simulate clicks are enabled because simulate click will directly work with the application interface application programming so that's why simulate click should be enabled only then it will work okay just remember this uh, simulate click should be enabled and alter if disabled will work if this is not enabled that means alt if disabled will not work so this understanding should be there so any kind of questions are framed you know how to answer uh, okay now let's say i have enabled cursor motion type to smooth okay but this is not working and this is a uh, send windows message or this one is enabled so any of this these are enabled then cursor motion type has no effect it will not work okay so this much understanding is required so any question comes you can answer so i hope i am giving you the required targeted topics uh, that you should always remember and prepare yourself practice yourself and understand about it and then should appear for the interview all right guys thank you so much let's uh, comment that you have completed this comment completed um, and then we'll move on to next topic thank you guys